Last episode, Jess left me with the boat all alone. I did my first solo sail across the bay and managed to spear my biggest wahoo. This episode, and this whole area was just like a waterfall. After flooding the boat, I head out to try and put the first fish in the new tender. Sail back across the bay and cook up some fresh ceviche for Jess. Waking up to an empty anchorage after an awesome day spearing made all the hard work getting the boat up to scratch finally worth it, truly using Papau as we had dreamed of. I still had the whole place to myself, so after exploring a bit of the island, I got stuck into some boat chores. Well, just about to run out of water. I have been a little bit greedy with it. But we are in nice clear water here. So I'm going to run the water maker. Okay, so that was a bloody nightmare. Look at this water running thing. Doesn't sound right. And I look down here, bloody nightmare. The, this chucks cloth had fallen in there and drained and this whole area was just like a waterfall. Absolute nightmare. Anyway, so I just pulled up the floor, got the towels on it and I let the bilge up. <sighs> man oh man and of course it's not enough water for the bilge to pump it out but it's enough to soak the whole bilge <laughs> just getting ready to go spearing as well so that'll be a little bit delayed but come to yacht life hey eh? oh never a dull moment i tell you oh, see what i mean this thing so Water's been mopped up, side has slacking off. I'm gonna go for a little cheeky spear. Let's see how we go. Tim was kind enough to give me a few spots to check out. Because of the flooding debacle, I had missed the tide and the current was a lot stronger than anticipated when I arrived. Without a sounder, it was a bit of a Hail Mary. I dropped the anchor and jumped in for a scout around. As I dived down, I could hear the crackling of the reef but landed on the sand off the mark. Just as I left the bottom, I noticed a huge cobia lying on the sand. Cobia are notorious for taking one big run and then playing dead until you get them in your arms. I knew the fish had a lot of fight left in it and I was keen to let it tire out before pulling it in close to me. As I was pulling it in, an angry whaler shark raced up to me on the surface. current dragging me away from the boat and now a feisty shark to contend with, I reluctantly decided to get back into the tender to land the fish. I now had to pull a huge thrashing cobia with a brand new razor sharp spear into an inflatable boat. Oh, oh my god, that was ridiculous. I chopped the fish on my first inspection dive and had it in the boat all within five minutes. Oh my god. Oh. 
first fish off the boat. Look at the size of this thing. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Well, that was by far one of the quickest and most crazy spe spearing sessions I've ever had. Literally went out there, jumped in at the spot, diving down. I was in the water for like 30 seconds, just about to leave bottom. And there it is, just massive cobia sleeping on the sand. Plugged him, <laughs> got him in, got him to the surface pretty quickly. And his whale had come up buzzing, like pecks down, having, going at me, having a go at me. And um, I was just like, oh, I'm by myself. This is crazy. So I got on this ender and just like was so paranoid, like the spear there, the spikes on the Kobe's back. But uh, got him in the boat. It's absolutely massive, like PB Kobe. Yeah. So, so stoked. Like this is unbelievable. First proper fish off the tender. Oh man, couldn't be more stoked. Solo dive, 30 seconds in the water. PB Kobe. Yeah. Look at this thing. Ew! <laughs> oh man, absolutely stoked right now. Look at this. Massive Kobe. It literally took me the rest of the day to weigh, photograph, and process the fish. 26, 27, 28. The cobia ended up weighing a massive 27 kilos, the first fish on the tender. Cobia are fantastic eating and also very sustainable. They are extremely fast growing and known to grow up to 65 kilos. This fish was probably around five or six years old and had already bred many seasons over. Kobe's diet is always really interesting. They have a symbiotic relationship with sharks and rays and use their sense of smell to help find fish. Their stomach contents often include small stingrays, crabs, and sometimes even small children. Well, that marks the end of my time at Tangaluma. Um, Absolutely epic spot, and uh, I'm just gonna go pick Jesse up. So it's another four hour sail back to Coochie, then tender right in to pick up the car, then go to the airport. And <laughs> she's absolutely spewing because today's Saturday and the weather on Sunday is just turned to crap. So it's just gonna be hiding in the usual spots. Um, yeah, it's been great. It's been good to get Jess back, and um. About all my adventures. Honey, I'm home. Did you miss me? <laughs> Been back for a day. She's already got me slaving away in the kitchen. What's on the menu today, Miguel? So I've got this delicious cobia belly section here. Make some ceviche. It's gonna be real fresh, real nice. And some rum with the sunset. I'm gonna use a couple of limes and, and lemon, mix it together to marinate the fish in. You know we put coriander in or cilantro, yeah. but Jess hates it, so we're going to admit that. That is not allowed on this boat, that her evil herb. What else? And a bit of chilli. That's looking pretty nice and fresh Look and healthy it. down Look there. The... Look at that marbling in Let there. Let me get a close up. This is Australian Kobia Wagyu A5. Okay, so we've got the fresh Kobia belly, which looks absolutely amazing. Tomato, cucumber, red onion, spring onion, two limes, one lemon. So I'm just gonna put the the onion and the fish in together and then squeeze that lime and lemon in there. I'll put the spring onion too, why not? What'd you just put in there, Michael? With the chili flakes, because we don't have any fresh chili. Uh, salt and pepper. Stir it all around. Once that's marinated for about 10 minutes or 15 minutes or so, chuck the cucumber and tomato in. Ooh, 
actually cooked. Mmm, delicious. That, that lemon and lime is the citrus has really done its job there. Go. And made some rums. And time to watch the sunset if I haven't missed it already. Nice welcome back to the uh, boat today. What do you got there, Jess? Just chilling out. Nice welcome back to the boat, even if I did miss the most amazing weather window we've had the entire time we've been here. Delicious. Go, it? Good? Mm. So nice, so refreshing, the beach eight. Feels healthy. We've just been discussing, we're gonna go back to Sydney in a few weeks for weddings. We've got two weddings and we're going to drive the car back and leave it at Michael's parents' place. And then we are basically free to roam. Where are we going to go, Michael? No idea. <laughs> so we're really restricted by our insurance because we aren't covered 25 degrees north, I think. Is that including 20, 25 and above, I think? All the reef is north of where our insurance will cover or it's not in the insurance zones. We're new sailors and we're new to this, so I think to just, you know, run the gauntlet would be pretty stupid of us. Um, but we want to try and chat to some cruisers and see what they think. And maybe we'll go north, because like, we bought this to go to the reef. At the moment, we're going to have to wait another six months until April next year. Mm. Otherwise, south. We'll go south, which is fine, but it's like our backyard, we've sort of done it done it to, to bits haven't we well, not not but living on board it'd be awesome to not be, living yeah <clears throat> live at the spots that we yeah. visit on a weekend yeah we know where we'd go <laughs> but, but yeah it's just um i mean we'd really really like to get to the reef hope you guys enjoyed it uh let me know what you think it was pretty epic some great fish taken some really awesome scenery awesome sailing first solo sail PB Wahoo, PB Cobia, bloody awesome. But uh, yeah, if you liked it, just give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you next time. We'd like to give a huge shout out to our patrons for their ongoing support and like to welcome our newest member on board, Re. We would also like to give a special thank you to Duncan who this week managed to get our website back up and running. Cheers, mate. Join us next episode where we test out our new electronics discover a bit more than we bargained for. Oh my God, big bull shark. I am not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Stumble across some real life mermaids and catch some blue swimmer crabs to cook up for an epic feed. Bloody good. Mm.